Many thanks for staying on News 360. Now to the details of our headlines. And some caterers on the school feeding program have stopped cooking for pupils for lack of funds. They complained of being harassed by their creditors, while some have been served with court sermons. <laughs> Some caterers on the school feeding program had gathered at the National Secretary to register their displeasure about the turnout of event. Sewa and Hajia had come all the way from Akimoda. Our creditors have taken us to court. We are also being harassed. We were better off with the local government ministry. There have been some issues on payment and change in enrollment figures. Caterers complain the amount paid to them does not correspond with the number of peoples they cooked for. I cooked for 250 children, but they paid for only 50 children. Where do I get the money to pay my debt? Now we are asking women to collect 50 sika. I cook for 48 days and then my enrollment is 483. That is my number. So times by 80 persons, I have to get 14,000 and some coins. So I just received 38 days and it was 4,000 and I was shocked. I don't know what is going on. And what happens is that when the Ministry of Gender, Children and Child Protection took over from local government, they instituted some reforms in terms of the running of the program. Part of it is to do some rapid audit assessment of the enrollment figures. And so the result of the findings is what we are using now. But the caterers are not taking it lightly. My problem is we have cooked with that figure and they have paid us with that figure before. So if they want to change the figures, it should be this academic calendar, not what we've cooked before. That is the problem we are having with them. And even the enrollment they paid us with, they didn't allow us to know what enrollment. They used the enrollment at their own description. I received my contract with that number, and that is the provisions I've put in enrollment. I always cook when even the food some left I had it to the children. I don't know anything about what they are saying. A section of caterers on the program threatened to stop cooking until their monies were paid. But visiting some schools in the metropolis we witnessed different situations. At the Osu Manhan primary pupils had been served at the time of our visit. Most of the children come to school without money because of the feeding program. So I think uh, I want to put food on the table because if I have issue with uh, uh, the, the government, I don't think that the children has the issue as well. At the Osu Salem One Basic School, Teacher Mota and Osu Presby Boys Day Schools were told the caterer had come to serve them earlier, though they were in class at the time of our visit. Meanwhile, at the Kanda class of schools in Accra, pupils were yet to be fed since school reopened on January 12. Pupils had to buy food from vendors. <laughs> Because the caterers are no longer bringing food, I get a lot of customers. But some also buy on credit because they don't have money. Some of the people say they are not given money for food by their parents because of the program. The Ghana School Feeding Program was introduced as a social intervention to provide children in basic primary schools with one hot nutritious meal prepared from locally grown foodstuff to reduce hunger and malnutrition and increase school enrollment, attendance and retention.